The world's largest cybersecurity technical certification body is at the center of what many refer to as a scam. And I don't know if I should talk about it. Is your reputation of being a money grab and scam true? Or were they just caught in the perfect storm of bad PR from blatant sexist posts to proven plagiarism and are now just the scapegoat for the state of cybersecurity certificates today? Let's talk about it. Founded in 2001, EC Council, fully named the International Council of E-Commerce Consultants, now operates in 145 countries globally. Their claim to fame is their CEH, forged in the fires of Mount Doom in 2003. The Certified Ethical Hacker Certification was born, although their website points out multiple others, we all know CEH is their viral sensation. So for the purposes of this video, that's what we'll focus on. Advertised as one of the world's premier hacking certifications, the CEH came at a perfect time. 2003 was amidst a turning point in global technology. The dot-com bubble from the 90s brought with it both interest and access to computers. With more and more people seeing the necessity in having internet access through computers, the world was starting to be brought together in a way never seen before. And with it, the need for computer specialists grew exponentially. If we look at the history of cybersecurity certifications, we can see that EC Council came at a time when there were no penetration testing or ethical hacking certifications in business, there's this golden phrase called first to the market. Now being first doesn't necessarily mean that you are first to launch a product, but first to gain customer confidence and with it a lot of market share. In the case of the CEH, it was both first to the ethical hacking certificate scene and first to gain consumer confidence. With other notable certificates that we have today providing similar penetration testing focus coming out many years later after the CEH. Naturally, they were able to make a name for themselves very quickly. We all know that the bigger you are, the harder you fall, the exam. Back when it first came out, the CEH was only $150. It was a two hour, 50 question exam. Just like every other exam available from EC Council, classes were available to help prepare for the exams <laughs> at a cost. Checking the course syllabus in 2002, we can see that the sheer amount of topics the exam covered was extensive. Five days of cramming to learn all these topics? Luckily, self-study was available via books, and it's obvious the CEH became their most popular certificate. Given this archived webpage shows the ethical hacking and countermeasures is out of stock. Within just a year, the price of the exam went up with a new price of $250, where it stood for years. Then, in 2010, the CEH was officially added to the US Department of Defense 8570 list of certifications. So as a result, they must have thought to themselves, we're a pretty big deal now, let's double it. And shortly after, the exam cost was bumped up to $500. The training course is anywhere from $850 to $3,000 as of making this video, exam voucher costs of $1,200, and some potential additional fees baked in like remote proctoring. The cost of obtaining the cert has come a long way since its inception at just $150. Now, as a point of reference, if we compare the exam to a similarly aged one and one that is also similar in format, CISSP, we find a stark difference in price increase. Now, accounting for inflation, the original $395 price tag for the CISSP back in 1998 should be $744 today. And what is it actually? It's $749. That's pretty spot on. <laughs> that seems fair, right? If we do the same for the CEH original price of $150, price now should be $250. And again, what is it actually? $1,200. Both are four hour exams. And with the introduction of the CISSP adaptive format, the total questions are anywhere from 125 to 175. Both institutions are well known, with ISC squared arguably more widely known, having been established for over 10 years before the EC Council started. <laughs> Something's not adding up with EC Council's pricing model. With EC Council having over $200 million in revenue as of 2024, maybe they are starting to become something like a money grab? But even if we ignore the jump in price and obvious attempts to market their classes as necessary for most, there still lies an issue in the exam format. One of the most commonly seen remarks about the CEH exam is that it's just a memory dump exam. Many have said that the CEH is just security plus with penetration tools mixed in. Another common theme is the argument that the exam doesn't truly teach you how to hack, as the name Certified Ethical Hacker would imply. The majority of the content is Nmap and Net 
that stat. CEH just teaches you terminology. But there's always two sides to a coin, right? And those who are in support of the exam argue the purpose of the exam is to teach the basic keywords and concepts to get started in ethical hacking and pen testing. If we check a practice exam for version 6 of the CEH, we can see that it is in fact as everyone says memorizing terminology. It's also worth noting that someone who has never worked in security would have no shot of passing this exam without studying the terminology. <laughs> this also begs the question, what's wrong with an exam that's testing your knowledge of concepts and principles? Isn't that the point of most entry-level certificates? To establish a baseline? Now the format of the exam wouldn't be as big of an issue if it weren't for the fact that the practice exams are literal questions on the exam itself. This can result in people passing the exam just by memorizing answers to questions, none of which EC Council is apparently doing anything about. And many of the qualms by seasoned security professionals lie in the name of the certificate itself. Being a certified ethical hacker should mean that you know how to hack, right? At that point, it becomes a subjective opinion. Would it be hated less if it was called something like the Certified Hacker Terminology Specialist? Or a Certified Hacker Words Wizard? Perhaps. But aside from the issues with the exam format, its copious amount of typos, and unjustified prices for courses and exam vouchers, there's an even bigger issue facing EC Council today. Since their formation in 2001, their public reputation has been nothing short of embarrassing. In the early days of websites, it comes to no surprise the company website would eventually be defaced. The problem with offering a certificate like Ethical Hacker is that it puts a target on your back. In 2006, three years after the CEH was created, their website was hacked. The first of many, many, many hacks and vulnerabilities pointed out on their main website. And for a company that is bragging about their hacking courses and certifications, it's ironic that their website has any exploitable vulnerabilities. Now one could forgive a company for not being able to prevent every attack, especially in their early years. But what might have sealed their fate as a dying company is their obvious poor company ethics that have come to light over the years. From blatant sexist surveys to blocking women for speaking up about the company to dress code recommendations, we see multiple instances where the company has failed to prevent and properly address incidents of sexism. With the CEO of the company releasing statements and apologies laced with phrasing that implies a company culture of sexism, using remarks like poorly worded survey implying something is only sexist because it was worded the wrong way and not simply outright wrong, to making excuses for blocking caused by quote-unquote over-eager team member panic, which creates a company perception of not being interested in hearing criticism, but rather silencing it instead. If that all wasn't bad enough, there are multiple, many loads of plagiarism in not only their website blog posts, but their courses as well. You know, the stuff people pay for? Labeled with the EC Council author of approval, they've had countless strikes of plagiarism that have not been met with correct responses by representatives of the company. The most recent instance in 2021 was wherein EC Council posted an article to their blog site claimed to have been written by EC Council and found to just be a rephrased version of an article a person by the name of Alyssa Miller had posted earlier. With a public quote-unquote apology posted by EC Council, where they more or less doubled down on them not plagiarizing, but rather having an article that was too closely aligned with any previous published articles. And the article having supposedly passed industry-accepted plagiarism checks, implying that the company did everything correctly in their power to prevent this from happening. We've only covered the tip of the EC Council iceberg, but where does the company and the CEH exam stand today? Well, with the release of version 12 in September of 2022, there are some attempts to update the exam paired with a master version that requires additional practical ethical hacking skills. So in that regard, it's getting better, <laughs> but can you really make something better if you're just polishing a turd? With plenty of pen testing certificate alternatives for much cheaper, it's unclear why anyone would opt for a certificate with so much baggage attached. As for the plagiarism and sexism, it's unclear if the company has any real intention of fixing their procedures to prevent either from happening again. But as of today, they're going on nearly three years clear and free of any incidents that we know of, that is. So that's something, right? It is ironic, though, that a company that is bragging about having the number one certified ethical hacker certification has been anything but ethical in their business practices. <laughs> but what do I know? I'm just a guy in a mask.